let us discuss about for loop a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence in python sequences are list tuple dictionary set or it can be string with for loop we can execute a set of statements once for each item in a sequence this is our list we can write for loop starting with the keyword for and then we need to specify the temporary variable let's say we'll go with x and then in now we need to specify a sequence let's say i will just copy this and mention it here and then we need to specify a sequence here then later we need to specify a set of statements which needs to be executed for every item in a sequence i will just go with one statement which will print the temporary variable x now if we execute the code we see apple is printed banana is printed cherry is printed this is what is happening for loop will take the each item in one iteration and assign that item to the temporary variable which is why inside the loop when we print the temporary variable the value that is being assigned to that variable is being printed in the first iteration the temporary variable x will have the value of first item apple so apple is printed in the second iteration it will access the second item of this iterable object and then assign it to the temporary variable so when we print the variable banana is printed and then finally cherry is printed it access each item of the iterable object assign it to the temporary variable and then in each iteration it will execute the set of statements that are provided in the for loop in this example i have used only one statement but we can have as many statements as we need so this is one statement and then this is another statement so now i have added two statements so when i execute the code we see in every iteration these two statements are being executed we have already discussed about two keywords which we can use in loops the keywords are break and continue the keyword break will terminate all the iterations and continue will terminate only the current iteration let me modify this code in this coding example we have for loop the temporary variable is x and then the iterable object is a list fruits now in every iteration we are printing x and then we have the if condition where we are checking if this temporary variable is equals to banana when it is true we execute the break statement let me execute the code now we see apple and banana is printed and the third item cherry is not printed because the loop is terminated when the temporary variable is equals to banana the loop is terminated the next iteration is terminated in which we will get the cherry in this example we are writing the loop on this sequence which is a list in every iteration we are checking whether x is equals to banana or not in case if it is equals to banana then we wanted to terminate the loop otherwise we will continue with the other statements other statements in this loop is print if we execute the code we see that only apple is printed in first iteration the temporary variable x gets the first item of the sequence which is apple now this statement will be executed since x is not equals to banana the loop will not be executed it will go to the next statement which is print statement so apple is printed in the second iteration the temporary variable x gets a second value which is banana now the if statement is true yes x is banana so it will return true so this break statement will be executed this break statement will terminate the loop so the banana is not printed and then since we terminate the loop it did not go to the next iteration the break statement will terminate the entire loop all iterations will be terminated now the other keyword which we can use inside loops is continue continue will just terminate the current iteration and continue with the next iteration let's see how it works instead of break i will go with continue here if we execute the code we see that apple is printed cherry is printed in first iteration it gets the apple apple is not equals to banana so it will continue with the next statement print it will print the value to console apple is printed in the next iteration x is banana this if statement will return true so the continue statement will be executed now continue will just terminate the current iteration in the current iteration we have another statement to be executed but since the continue statement is executed it will just terminate the current iteration so it will just skip it here and then it will go to the next iteration in the next iteration x will get the third item 
cherry now cherry is not equals to banana so it will go to the next print statement the cherry is printed this is how we can use break and continue statements break will terminate the entire loop and continue will terminate the current iteration similar to while loop we can also have else block for these loops let me write the else block if we execute the code the else block will be executed only when the for loop is completed once this loop is completed it will come to else block and this will be executed when we execute this code we see that apple and cherry is printed the loop is completed then finally the else block is executed which is a print statement we can see that is printed to the console this else block will not be executed in case if we break the loop let me go with break statement instead of continue now execute the code we see only apple is printed to the console else block is not executed this is because the loop is terminated using break statement we can also write nested loops a nested loop is a loop inside another loop the inner loop will be executed one time for each iteration of the outer loop in adj object we have three items which means in outer loop there are three iterations and in fruits object we have three items even inner loop has three iterations so these three iterations will be executed every time for one iteration of the outer loop we see in the first loop the temporary variable x gets a value red for this one iteration these three iterations will be executed if you look at the console the output is red apple red banana red cherry once this inner loop is completed one iteration of the outer loop is done and then in the second iteration it will get the big again three iterations will be executed since the inner for loop has three iterations so we see big apple big banana big cherry is printed the same thing with the third item this is how inner loop will be executed one time for each iteration of the outer loop and we have pass keyword which can be used as a placeholder keyword to create a empty block we can use pass to create the empty block if we execute nothing happens this is because when we create a loop there must be a block a block with a list of statements to be executed in every iteration if there is no block then we will get the syntax error let me just remove this pass keyword and execute the code we see we get the indentation error right this is why the block is very important if we don't want to define the block in that case we can use this placeholder keyword pass so we don't get the error and the code will be executed as expected that's all for today thanks for watching see you in the next video